So let's say you get, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half or something like that of view time before it moves. So I'll, I'll change these batteries out. I don't think there's any batteries left in there. No, it's not moving. And I'm not 100% certain this will uh, is set up properly to track. I don't use this telescope very often, so it's... Oops. So when I use it, I'm kind of guessing on a lot of the settings and stuff. But that's certainly the sun, and hopefully, uh, theoretically, you can see sunspots and stuff on certain days. So this might be fun to uh, track that and see if we can see some other other anomalies and things on the sun over time. But it's certainly an easy setup, and it's safe. Uh, the spotter scope is this little guy over here, and he's not really attached very well to the camera or to the telescope. Actually, it, it broke off, so. <laughs> so I'll uh, it kind of fits on there kind of part of the this doesn't focus very well so like I said I don't know how to use this telescope really good but um, this is, seems to be a safe way to do the viewing I might have some people over to watch it this is an old movie screen from when I was a kid back in the early 60s so I'm glad I hung on to it so the day of the eclipse, we'll just hook this up, and if the uh, tr motorized tracking doesn't work, I'll just have to keep adjusting it as we're watching the eclipse. Okay, let me back this up. So I'm just showing my general setup for doing the, uh, the way my me telescope set up here. have to readjust it every few minutes. And I put the tape on there just to kind of demonstrate how much it moves. It'll probably move up and down too. So I try, I'm trying to center it in the center of the I'm focused on the sun I can get out of focus so it's, it's not just light coming in through the whole viewfinder with whole viewfinder that's actually focused on the sun okay. so I'm waiting for a full moon to come out and see if this would work on a full moon I don't think it would work on anything less than a, a full moon but um, that might be interesting to project that image I've got some really nice photographs of the moon um, but I haven't really played with that too much so we'll see let's keep playing with this So I've got this north side facing north. I don't know if you probably can't see that. But then I've got the, I'm terrible at knowing this terminology, but it's at 28 degrees. So when I come back out on Monday, it, it'll be around, I'm guessing, between 27 and 29, something like that. So um, otherwise we look pretty good shape. So when you use the spotting, the original spotting scope on there, it's not super lined up with my telescope. As I showed you before, it was loose. So you kind of, once, once you get that, at least you're in celestial neighborhood, I guess, huh? Okay. And on the, okay, maybe I shouldn't see that. So actually when I set this up, I had it sitting up straight and I went inside for a while and the wind was blowing and blew it over and then I realized it actually gives me a better angle <laughs> for viewing it off the telescope. So that's what we got.